Amazing Python is the self-proclaimed mother of the Dino SMP. She is possibly the kindest and most sweetest person on the entire SMP. However, she has found herself in the middle of most of the conflicts on the server. Now, what is Python like? Why does she act the way she act? And what's with this fish? Well, luckily, I decided to interview her. So, take a look. Hello, Python. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? That is good to hear. We're um, uh, we're 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 doing these interview series about people on the Dino SMP, um, and you just happen to be uh, the first one we've interviewed. So, uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, like my character isn't feeling good, but I am good. Accomplished. Like, what's your main goal? It's just I I don't want to be in much conflict, but that that isn't like that. It wasn't what happened because like i was kind of in the middle of a big conflict uh, uh, between you and harden but yeah (laughs) but i i don't want that and i just want to be friends with everyone that's kind of my goal so yeah (laughs) so um you talk about um you talk about Ardent and I. You were in the middle of that conflict for a while. Um, yeah. I know that conflict very well, but the viewers at home might not know what you're talking about. Do you want to describe a little bit of what happened there? Uh, it was like Ardent destroyed uh, your monument, your big widow monument, and I kind of agreed with him. And then you came to kidnap me, and then I was here in the hole, in the Obsidian Hole, and then. You kind of blew up this place, and then, um, yeah, and then you get went away just that way, I think. And then I went away, I think, somewhere that way. <laughs> so, how would you define your relationship with uh, the nation of Saberil, the nation we're currently in right now, actually? Should yeah. this? Filming this? I was like, I. I didn't just after that conflict I just kind of went away and yeah I mean I'm I, I think I'm technically still in Sabero but yeah 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 I mean Sabero's kind of abandoned now after that whole conflict I think I think uh, people have started making a couple other countries elsewhere uh, my own country for example but we'll we'll get to me later um you seem to um you seem to really dislike conflict is there any reason that is or are you just a peaceful person i just want to make everyone happy because yeah it's just me (laughs) that makes sense that makes sense um now a lot of people seem to look up to you like we talked to uh, we talked we, we, with with Ardent. Um, the reason you were in the middle of the conflict is because Ardent holds you to a very very high standard. Ardent really really is uh, close friends with you. Also, Karit Karit. Ka- Ka- oh Ka- yeah. Ka- yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. She seems to uh, be very uh, close to you. Would you say that you have uh, a lot of friends on the server? Yeah, I'd say that. I'm gonna yeah. I have I have many friends. Do you, would you say that that puts you in a lot of danger, being friends with a lot of people? Yeah, that can be true. I mean, I am friends with Arden, and that's why you kidnapped me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, would you say that being friends with people, despite the conflict, is worth it? Or do you question... Uh, whether or not all of these connections are, um, you know, worth the trouble. I think it's ever, uh, if everyone is friends with each other, there isn't any conflict, so, yeah. <laughs> right, the conflict will eventually rise, uh, and, okay, so let's say that Ardent and Kayit got into a conflict, and you were friends with both. How would you try to resolve a conflict like that? Um, 
I think I would stand on um, like Arlen's side because I am friends with him longer. So, but I wouldn't I wouldn't like kill kill her because they have yeah. I I don't need I don't really know. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. Times are a bit confusing right now. Um, quick question: Where are you from? Like, how did you how did you come to this land? How did you uh, appear here? Like, how did you meet like the first people? Like, how did you meet Ardent? How did you meet Kayit? How did you meet all of those people? I kind of just like I I'm a witch, so I come from a witch hut and a witching family, and I. I kind of just ran away and then came in this area and then Arlen was here and then there was this whole conflict between you and Arlen. I ran away and then there was a house and like um, there she was there and then I met her and then I I live kind of close to her so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And would you say, uh, is there any reason why you ran away from your Talk, or were you just looking for a new, more interesting life? I mean, I kind of left all my stuff behind uh, here, and I gave uh, Kay all my stuff, and then I started a new, a new life somewhere else. So I kind of just, you know, ran away and gave Kay all my stuff. So. So the server right now is in a moment of. Relative peacetime, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so, without as much conflict as there was uh, prior, um, like with, like with me and Arden, um, do you think that the server is in a place where you want right now, or would you? What What would you change about the server if you could change one thing in its current state? I mean, I. I would like to make like one big city and everyone is friends with each other and we can just be happy. And do you <laughs> believe that that goal is realistic? I didn't I don't know if if that's possible, but yeah. Okay. And no, that's fine. I think you have you have very very good intentions. Um how uh, you, you remember the shop very well, and I realized maybe bringing you back here maybe wasn't a, you know, a fun place to yeah. do this. Um, <laughs> it was just a good play. It was a good spot in the middle of, like, Sabaril. Uh, Arden's not here anymore, so we can definitely use this area. Um, <laughs> would you say that you're... Uh, so so, would, so Arden right now is, is gone. Uh, he's exiled himself. He's... He's, um, I don't know where he's gone, actually, but, um... No, I don't know either. He's just gone. He didn't even, he didn't even left me, like, a sign or something. Okay. He just ran away. Well, would you say that that still affects you? Was the, does that still upset you, or...? I mean, a little bit, but... Yeah, you, I mean... Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to bring up sad memories. I'm not trying to do that. Um, okay. Um, so despite despite what you want, you are like the center point of a lot of conflicts uh, because you're important to a lot of people. So people will try to use you as a bargaining chip, right? Uh, yeah. Do you think that that makes it worth it then to separate yourself from people so that you can live peacefully or do you think that in spite of your relationships with these people or in spite of the conflict uh and the stress that these friends bring you do you think that it's still worth it to stay friends with everyone i mean i i think i can be friends with everyone but not everyone can be friends with everyone so I mean, I kind of run away from everyone, but then I invited everyone to my home. So now everyone knows where I live. 
and then there was a few conflicts at my home but not there, there were small ones but yeah it's just people like I, f I feel like I am just the, the middle point of everyone and then I'm in the middle and I'm friends with everyone and then there's enemies and then yeah they just yeah well recently I think we've made some pretty good progress as a server on trying to peacefully resolve conflicts. Um, you were there when uh, the building of the UN started and I believe you might have helped in some capacity. Um, how do you think the UN uh, or the United Nations will help the server? I think that's a good thing because people will uh, talk more about the conflicts instead of fight and yeah, I think that's a good thing. Okay, um, that's good. And I think that uh, while me and Arden have had disagreements in the past, I think that there is definitely room for um, improvement and uh, reconciliation. Um, you apparently helped build like this ravine area, like around here, the uh, like the ravine shopping mall basically it was. I even had a shop like like way up there. Um, does it bring you sadness to see that Several now is basically abandoned? Like only one or two people live here now? Yeah, I mean, I kind of built this whole place and then... I mean, I was kind of the first one who left. That's strange, but... Coming, like, coming back here brings memories, but there are happy memories about this because everyone lived there in peace. And I liked it here, but yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I appreciate you coming on by. Thank you for anything you want to plug or anything you want to say about yourself before you go. Like any channels you want to plug, like where can we find you? Yeah, I don't really do something on YouTube or something, so. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, you appear in plenty of people's streams. You've appeared in my streams. You've appeared. You're in one of my streams right now. Crazy. Yeah. Um, you're gonna be in a YouTube video. So uh, that was awesome. Um, thank you for coming on by. Um, and to the rest of the audience, uh, thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming to uh, the. Uh, we gotta come up with this. Thank you for uh, meet the Dino SMP uh, episode one Python. Thank you for coming by. Um, and have a good night. Hey, I know you probably don't care like at all, but I do have a second channel where I upload videos entirely about Nerf Blasters. I'll leave that at the end of the video if you want to check it out. Okay, thanks. You should subscribe to both. Okay, bye now, bye.